So you're thinking about getting a bunny. Well, I don't blame you. With their little bunny faces and soft fur, they are irresistibly adorable. The first purchase I ever made in my life was buying myself a pet bunny with my birthday money. And that wasn't the last bunny I ever owned either. Rabbits are friendly, curious, quiet, and can make amazing house pets. There's so much to know when planning for a bunny, so let's get into it. Rabbits are highly intelligent and just like a cat or a dog, rabbits will recognize their owners by voice or sight. You can teach your bunny to recognize their name and come when you call them. Rabbits also have a very good memory. They don't forget negative experiences and emotions easily, so try not to hurt your little bunny's feelings. And here is some very good news. Rabbits can commonly be litter box trained, which makes their cage and play area much cleaner. There are so many ways your rabbit will communicate with you. Here are some examples of behaviors to look out for. Thumping. You'll know it when you hear it. This is the way rabbits communicate danger to other rabbits. They'll also do this if they're unhappy about something. If your rabbit's nudging you with their nose, they want attention. They may want a play or a treat or to be petted. Twisting and kicking their back legs. This is called a binky. They also might dart around quickly in short bursts. When rabbits do this, it's a sign that they're feeling great. Rabbits use this to communicate that they are happy and excited, relaxed, and safe. Licking is a way bunnies groom each other. A bunny that licks you has fully accepted you and is showing you affection. And if you have two rabbits, you might see them licking each other, and this is a sign of a bond. The bigger the cage, the better. They should have a space no smaller than 4 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 2 feet tall. Even though your rabbit is small, they actually need much more space than you may realize to stay happy and healthy. Your rabbit should have a designated exercise area. Rabbits need a minimum of three to five hours of exercise daily outside their cage. They're naturally curious and enjoy opportunities to explore. You can use fencing panels, puppy play pens, and a rubber floor mat to make a nice little enclosure for your rabbit. And I've got links to some ideas below. Since they're prey animals, they need a place that they can hide and feel secure, so make sure they have access to a small cardboard box or a rabbit house. Rabbit digestive systems are fairly complex. Your rabbit's diet should be 80% Timothy hay, and they should have unlimited access at all times. Did you know that rabbit teeth never stop growing? And this constant chewing is important to keep their teeth worn down to a healthy length. They'll also need a small amount of pellets as well as leafy greens. Rabbits can have treats every so often, such as fruit or dried fruit, carrots, and other rabbit-safe veggies. In the wild, rabbits are prey species. They're very aware of their surroundings and always on alert for predators or a change in their environment. Because of this, they don't typically like to be held, but if you do hold your rabbit, it's important to support their back end. Their back legs are so strong that they can kick so hard that they break their own back. Loud noises can be very stressful and even dangerous for your rabbit. If and when you get your first rabbit, give them a chance to get used to their surroundings. Set up its cage in a quiet, low traffic area. Talk quietly to your rabbit and pet them gently. Forcing attention on your rabbit will only cause stress and make it more difficult for your rabbit to get used to its new home. And when your rabbit starts coming to you for attention, you will know that they are becoming comfortable and you can start picking them up. Rabbits are most active in the morning and evening. It's a good idea to consider this schedule when you're deciding where to place your rabbit. If you're not an early riser and don't prefer to get up at dawn, I would suggest not keeping your bunny in your bedroom. Bunnies will chew literally anything and everything they can find, and of course this means they will chew things that they shouldn't, like cords and baseboards. In the wild, rabbits can even chew through tree roots to make their burrows. So make sure to give your rabbit safe and fun chewing alternatives. There are things that you can do like buying cord protectors and adding Velcro hooks to keep your cords and plants out of reach. Toys your rabbit will love include wooden blocks, baskets, toilet paper rolls, cardboard, balls, cups, and more. Rabbits are often deeply emotional and crave attention and companionship. They're social animals, and aside from letting them run around outside their cage every day, they are going to want your attention too. In the wild, rabbits live in groups, and domestic rabbits will do best if kept in pairs. You can pair two females or one male and one female, but be aware that two male rabbits may fight. Most pet rabbits need their nails trimmed every four to six weeks. If this is something you don't think you can do, then you've got to commit to bringing your rabbit to a groomer once a month to have their nails cut. Additionally, long-haired rabbits should be brushed daily, while short-haired rabbits can be brushed once a week. It's beneficial to spay or neuter your rabbit around four to six months of age. This will help actually fix some behavioral issues as well as help them live longer and healthier lives. 
Most rabbits tend to live between 7 and 10 years. Overall, bunnies are pretty affordable pets. Your main expense is going to come from their bedding, hay, pellets, and fresh greens. There are, of course, going to be vet bills to account for, but in the grand scheme of pets, bunnies likely won't break the bank. On average, rabbits cost their owners between $600 and $1,000 per year. If you're like me, you just want a checklist of all the things you're going to need for your new bunny family member. So I've got you covered with a master list in the description below. I hope you've learned a little something and at the very least got to see some very cute bunny videos. If you have a rabbit or if you're thinking about getting one, leave a comment below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you with all my heart.